Hello friends, welcome to HTML tutorial series. In this tutorial, I am going to discuss how anchor tag behaves with different file formats. So let's get started. I double click on default.html page. I right click on the default.html page, open with the notepad. Let's begin. Here I am going to say weave m-a-n-j-u-n-a-t-h manjunath chidre image file save go to browser refresh you can see that i have the content displayed weave manjunath chidre image i am going to put this content in between anchor tags so i use opening a tag then i say here closing a tag file save go to browser refresh we have not given any hyperlink reference so let's give hyperlink reference href is equal to double quotations in this hyperlink reference i am going to give the value of this image name if you see the image name is picture i am going to copy that and i paste it over here control v then i need to write the file extension dot jpg is the file extension or a file format file save you can see the file extension by right clicking on the image and clicking on properties you can see the file extension or a type of the file is .jpg. I close this. File save go to browser refresh. You can see that we have here a hyperlink or a hypertext. If I click on this, what happens? We know that picture.jpg is going to get open. Let's see that. If I click on weave Manjuna Chidre image, you can see that browser has displayed the image and you can see this area where the image is not available is filled with the gray color automatically browser performs this operation for us let's go back hope you guys have understood how anchor tag works with image file formats i am going to copy this i paste it down this time i am going to use next file format that is a pdf you can see that weave intro to science s c i e n c e science pdf now i am going to copy the name of this pdf copy that and paste it here hyperlink reference then i have to give the file extension if i right click see properties you can see that the file extension is dot pdf so here i am going to say dot pdf file save if I go to browser and refresh, this hyperlink is going to be displayed just beside this previous hyperlink. As we know that anchor tag is an inline tag, it won't take the entire width of the browser window. So if I refresh, you can see that it is displayed, right? Hyperlink is displayed just beside the previous hyperlink. I am going to use the break tag. So I write here br tag, file save, go to browser, refresh. We moved the hyperlink down. If I click on Weave Intro to Science PDF, check out what happens. You can see that browser is allowing me to save this file. That means I can download this PDF file to my hard disk or I can open that with the Acrobat Reader also. If I click on OK, it will open that in the Adobe Reader. I can read the PDF file. I can save also. This is how the anchor tag behaves with the PDF files. I am going to copy this paste it down this time i am going to work with another file format that is a video file we have here so here i am going to say weave w i l d wildlife video now i am going to copy the name of the video paste it here control v then i need to put the file extension right right click properties if you see the file extension is dot wmv so I am going to write here dot WMV file save go to browser refresh you can see that view wildlife video is below the previous hyperlink because we have used the break tag if I click on this check out what happens if I click on view wildlife video you can see that browser is asking me to activate the VLC web I say allow you can see that video is now getting played this is how the anchor tag behaves with the video file formats guys. Let me copy this, paste it down. This time I am going to work with another file format 
that is we have here audio file my music let's say play my music audio i have written here then i have to give here the file name i am going to copy my music and paste it here and the file extension for it is dot mp3 you can see that right click properties you can see the file extension is dot mp3 now let's play audio file save go to browser refresh we have play my music audio if i click on that you can see that audio is played this is how the anchor tag works with mp3 files or audio files i am going to copy it paste it down let's see with another file format we have here a wordpad file with the name exercise let's see here what happens if i say weave exercise e x e r c i s e exercise file here i have to give the file name or oh, i am going to copy exercise and paste it in hyperlink reference value then i have to right click properties see the file format that is dot rtf let me give here dot rtf file save go to browser refresh now if i click on this weave exercise file you can see that browser is allowing me to save the file or i can open it with microsoft office if i want if i save it will get download and uh, placed on the hard disk or uh, to the default location next i am going to copy this paste it down and next file format i have is a zip file format which is with the name my docs i have here you can see let's proceed i can say here download my doc zip file and i am going to copy this my docs name paste it then i am going to see the file format right click properties the file format is dot zip so i am going to write here dot zip zip file save go to browser refresh download my doc zip file if i click on that you can see that browser is allowing me to save this or open with the winrar software so either you can open with the winrar software or you can save it to the hard disk if i click on save it will be downloaded the system hope you guys have understood how anchor tag works with different file formats this is how the firefox behaves if you want you can test the file in google chrome also let me close this minimize right click open with the google chrome check this out what happens if i click on weave manjuna chidre image you can see that image got displayed you don't see any gray area if i click on weave intro science pdf you can see that as i have a plugin installed a pdf file is getting open in the browser itself i can see i can download i can print i can zoom in zoom out so many options are there here in google chrome i go back i click on view wildlife video if i click on that you can see that the wildlife video got downloaded instead of playing in the browser then i click on play my music audio you can see that music is getting played go back then i click on weave exercise file you can see that the exercise.rtf file got downloaded to the hard disk then i click on download my doc.zip file if i click on that that zip file also got downloaded to the hard disk you can see that how the hyperlinks or anchor tag work differently in different browsers i suggest you people to experiment with this for this tutorial this much is enough guys in the next tutorial we get more information on html tutorials for more benefits please subscribe like comment and share see you in the next tutorial keep learning keep coding keep sharing